all the best boxing content, don't forget to like, subscribe, and punch that bell for notifications. Ladies and gentlemen, good evening and welcome to Debella Entertainment and HGNet's Broadway Boxing! Presented by Turning Stone Resort and Casino from the Hammerstein Ballroom at Manhattan Center. Tonight's fights are promoted by Debella Entertainment and sponsored by HBO Sports, LocateStock.com, Punch, and the Norwich Navigators, Connecticut's hometown team. This bout is sanctioned by the New York State Athletic Commission chairman in attendance tonight, Ron Scott Stevens. The three judges scoring this bout on the 10-point must system, Glenn Feldman, John McKay, and Jimmy Pierce. And when the bell rings, the referee in charge of the action, Danny Schiavone. And now, 10 rounds of boxing in the middleweight division. Introducing first to my left, fighting out of the blue corner, he's wearing black trunks, weighing in officially at 156 pounds. His professional record, perfect. With 16 wins, 10 coming by way of knockout. From Brooklyn, New York, Sekou Iron Horse Powell. And his opponent to my right, fighting out of the red corner. His trunks are white, blue, and red. He weighed in officially at 159 and one quarter pounds. His professional record, 36 wins, nine losses, 29 wins coming by way of knockout. From Panama City, Panama, fighting out of Miami, Florida, Santiago El Herrero Samaniego. Peace in. Okay, fellas, we went over the rules in the dressing room. I expect you to obey my commands at all times. Keep the bow clean. Touch them up, go back to your corners. Touch them up. Good luck. All right, scheduled for 10 rounds in the middleweight division. Santiago Zamaniego, the veteran, with 47 career fights against the young up and comer, Sekou Powell, 16 0 with 10 KOs, fighting out of Brooklyn, New York. I know we have been talking about the experience with Simon Yeager, but Sakur Powell had a huge amateur career. I mean, he just missed the Olympic team in 2000. The guy has wins over a lot of notable fighters, like Sergio Moore, who won their contender. He beat Peter Manfredo, who was in the finals of the contender series. He has fought a lot of top guys. Andre Berto, who made the Olympic team for Haiti. So he has experience as well. You know, Brian, I would have agreed with that more, say, 15 years ago. And I'll tell you what I mean. They, Sa go ahead. Go. Sam and Yeko may be in trouble already. <laughs> Hold your thoughts. <laughs> Zeku Powell hit him with two straight left hands and wobbled him in the ring. Continue, please. Well, we'll talk about it on the next show. Now, uh, because they changed the amateur boxing rules so much that there's almost no resemblance to professional boxing anymore. Is what I'm saying, and it doesn't really prepare guys for the kind of things that Sam and Diego's done. Although I will mention this, for a guy with a lot of experience, Sam and Diego looks a little soft, especially in the midsection. Powell has not gone to the body. I'm sure he's noticed Sam and Diego's soft side. <laughs> and physically, Saku actually looks bigger than Sam and Diego. He does. Well, don't forget, this is the guy that started. He is. And here we go. San Diego is in trouble. Touch the body. You touch the body if you're right. Big left hands. It's a matter of time now. There's that go. body shot. Powell, patient. And yeah, San Diego pivots off the ropes. Still got over a minute left. Well, this is, you know what? It's a good sign for a young fighter like Powell to be this poised when he has a guy hurt like this. He's in no hurry. There he is, jabbing to the body. Sam Diego looks like he's been on wobbly legs since his ring walk. And since Saku Powell had that, that controversial bout against Grady Brewer, he changed trainers. Guzman is his trainer. And um, 
he, he's better technically now. He was never a bad technical fighter, but now he's better technically. He's very, I think he's very good fundamentally. He really is. I just would like to see more fire out of him like we saw in this first round. And I'll tell you something about that Brewer fight, Brian. Oh. Good shot. Boy, you can't get any points out tonight. It's working too quick. Oh, left foot, <laughs> left hand. They may have to stop this one early. Sekou Pau punches in bunches. Sekou Pau, Salmon Diego in trouble. He steps off the ropes. Pau looking for one big shot. A straight left to the body, 10 seconds. And it looks like Salmon Diego will get out of the round. It may not be a good thing. That's a big round for Powell. Here's the first time he wobbled him. It didn't look like all that big a punch. But again, Sam and Diego's a guy that started boxing as a lightweight, is now boxing guys 25 pounds heavier and younger than him. Here it is later in the round, and you'll see Powell really open up on Sam and Diego here. You notice ABC, fundamentally textbook sounds. Good straight left hand twice by Powell there. The only thing that kept San Diego from going down right there was the corner post. All right, rounds two scheduled for 10. And the first round very lopsided in the favor of Sekou Pau. Well, you can say that again. I'll tell you what, Gus. Powell outlanded San Diego 33 to two in round one. If that's not a 10-8 round, then I don't know what one is. And the copy of box stats are presented by LocateStock.com, the pioneer in electronic stock locates. I made a comment at the end of the first round that is not a good thing that they make it out the round. Meaning the second round is only going to bring more and more punishment for three minutes. Pain right. and suffering. He's not getting younger as the fight goes on. <laughs> now San Diego starting to drop his hands. Watch for that right hook from Sekou Pao. He set him up, jabbing to the body. But now what we see if Sekou is actually mentally st stable, because sometimes a young fighter, get guys hurt early, they drift and they like lose focus. Let's see if Sekou does this. But you know, I was going to say before that uh, the Brewer fight where he was knocked down, I actually see that as a positive because he went down, got up, and fought well oh! enough. Good shot. Great Good left, left hand. hand. Fought well enough to win the fight even though there was some dispute over the decision. How many fighters do you know the first time they get knocked down do not get up? Powell closing in again. Samaniego looks like he's ready to run up the white flag. Now he comes off the ropes. Trying to answer Sekou Pao, but it's just a matter of time now. We spent so much time, Gus, talking about all the experience San Diego has had in his career and how that would help him here. He hasn't shown very much of it. And I don't mean that in a sarcastic way. I don't see him doing the things that you need to do to beat a right. southpaw. Brian, I always thought a left hook to the body was good. And there he goes, San Diego down in the second round. And he'll take an eight count. With 50 seconds to go in the second. That's one discouraged man right there. You can see it in his face. Here's Powell looking for a quick night of work. And if he steps on the gas, he can get it. See, now here is where you would like to see Powell come forward. You don't want to let this moment pass. There's a point there's a point at every match where it comes where you want to see that kill instinct instinct in a fighter. Well gosh, he's he's destroying the guys. But why punish him? If you step on the gas, you'll get him out of there. Yeah, I think you take your time and don't get caught with a lucky shot instead of going in there hell bent. I don't think Sam Diego's got that much luck tonight, Gus. <laughs> End of the second round. This action. Here's a punch that did Sam Diego no good whatsoever. That left hand. Same punch again, different angle. Straight as an arrow, boom. And then the knockdown punch here. 
Left hand again. Samaniego on wobbly legs back and down from a one two. Round three scheduled for 10 in the middleweight division. Seku Paul in black. Santiago Zamaniego in the multicolored trunks. Fighting out of Panama. Powell from Brooklyn. And Powell has dominated this bout from the very beginning. And Gus, I'm glad you're not asking Brian and I what our scorecards are. <laughs> I don't think I have to. Because the, the story is told right there by CompuBox. As you can see, 79 punches thrown for Powell. 36 landed. Only five punches. Landed by Samaniego. Samaniego in trouble again. Here comes Powell just loading up. See, and that's, that's it. That's what I meant, because if he stepped on the gas, he could have got a knockout. That's what I meant. And the crowd is going a little displeasure. I don't know why. Well, well, they, they want to see a guy get carried in the You structure. know that. There's only one thing that satisfies boxing fans. And you know what? Not the the stoppage might have been a little, a little quick, but you know what? The point was made. The There's right. no doubt about who's winning the fight and how. And you don't want Samaniego getting hurt. He just took so much punishment right, for especially two if you rounds. Don't need, especially if you don't need to take the punishment. It's not like any of us are sitting here thinking, geez, if they had given him a shot, right. maybe he would have come through with a punch. There's no way. Here's the end of the fight. You can see that the uh, the right hand came across and got Samaniego. Now Powell coming forward. You can just see one guy is strong and the other guy is weak. And you know it's not going to end well for him. Ladies and gentlemen, 36 seconds into round three, referee Danny Schiavone stops about the winner by technical knockout, Secu Ironhood.